good morning students i hope now you all have understood that we should not pollute water as you all know 71% of the earth is covered with water but most of this water is present in oceans and seas this water is not fit for drinking and other human activities today i will teach you about how to save water now open your book on page 93 conservation of water just imagine a day without water what are the things you will not be able to do name a few students there are many activities which we will not be able to do such as bathing gardening cleaning the house washing clothes etc so we can't imagine a day without water now turn your page on page 94 and let's read every drop of water is precious underlined word precious and write its meaning valuable we should not waste water we need to conserve water because we cannot live without water underline word conserve and write its meaning save students as you already know that life on the earth would not exist without water therefore you should use water carefully and wisely now come along what can you do to conserve water number 1 do not waste water use only as much water as you need students water is an important part of our life so you should make every possible way to save it you should take as much water in the glass as you want to drink number 2 turn off the tap well after use number third point while brushing your teeth do not leave the tap running turn it on only when you need water underline word running and write its meaning flowing students while brushing you should turn on the tap only when you want to rinse number fourth point check your leaky taps get a leaking tap repaired as soon as possible underline word repaired and write its meaning mend children you should get the leaky taps repaired immediately as dripping water will not be in use and will only move in drains now next point use a bucket and a mug to take a bath instead of a shower underline word instead and write its meaning in place of children you should not take long bath and use only that much water for bathing which is needed sixth point do not leave the taps running while washing dishes and clothes underline word dishes and write its meaning utensils now seventh point use a washing machine that does not use too much water children you should not use fully automatic machine as it uses much water than semi automatic machine and moreover this water
can be further used for cleaning the house. 8. Point, use the water in which vegetables and fruits have been washed to water the potted plants. Underline word potted and write its meaning house plants. Next point, do not throw away the water left in your water bottle but pour it over some plants. Children, the plants in your house can be watered either with the leftover water from your water bottles or with the water used for washing vegetables and fruits. And last point, do not over water the potted plants as the water will block air pores of the soil and therefore roots will not be able to breathe. Now let's revise. How can we save water? Number one, turn off the tap well after use. Number two, use a washing machine that does not use too much water. Third, use a bucket and mug to take bath. Number four, repair the leaky taps. Next, do not over water the potted plants. And the last, do not leave the taps running while washing clothes. Students, through this chapter, I hope you, you have understood about air and its importance, the importance of water in our lives, different forms of water, the water cycle and its importance, the effects of water pollution and the last different ways to conserve water. Students, I will start with a new chapter in my next class. Till then, read the chapter and revise terms and questions. Thank you.